comes the weather. There's the front line right there. This wind has switched a little. And uh, it's been sunny all morning. And it looks like it's about to not be sunny the rest of the day. Let's see what happens. What is up, everybody? Happy Sunday morning. Uh, join me while I, I'm going to just put rods out. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful morning out. This wind is knocked down for the time being. Uh, it may be switching, but it's uh, it's laid down right now. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just getting out here. It's late. It's uh, 8.30. Um, I just got out. I'm just putting the rods out right now. This is my first one going out. So hang out with me for a minute. And uh, if it's anything like yesterday, I had... I had, we had our first one before we got all the rods out. So I can run three rods, uh, being that I'm by myself. So I'll start with two on the, <coughs> I'm going to start with two on the same board, same side. And I'm only in 16 foot of water. So I'm going to run the smaller bait back 75 and all the way out. And then I'm going to run a slightly bigger, I'm actually I'm going to run the next size bigger in the flicker minnow, um, back 50 on the inside, because it's going to keep it up a little bit, as I think that might try to tick bottom. Um, I don't know, I don't want it that deep. So uh, stay tuned, we'll see what happens. And if I do put a third one out, probably be, well, I might just run a regular bill out there and slide in a little shallower. So this board, I could put just a, a regular diving Smithwick or Junior Thunder stick or any any straight uh, regular bill stick bait, uh, shallow diver, and I could run that board in to, you know, 13 feet maybe, 14 feet over the top of the edge, the outer edge of the weed line. And there's still some, some weeds in there. Um, but that's where the bait's going to be, and that's where the big fish will be. So uh, I could, I might sneak this in closer today. Normally, I would say I'd run a two-core lead core on that side, um, and that's where I run the Tony Bufa. So I'd probably run that same stick bait, Tony's Silver Blue Ladderback uh, Junior Thunder Stick, just on a flat, no weight, no anything, and just put it out there and stretch that board, and and then I would take my take my side scan and I'd get into where I'm let's say a hundred feet off that edge um, and then I could slide that board up onto the edge and follow the weed line and put the shallow diver in there so it doesn't run as deep and get into those weeds I think you got about eight foot of from the top down before you hit those weeds in 12 uh, to 14 so I'm, I'm positive that that shallow diving thunder stick could be about five feet on on anywhere from 50 to 100 foot of line. It doesn't have to be real far. These fish aren't shy. They'll they'll hit it right at the side of the boat. We're not trolling with the big motor. We're only trolling with the electric, which is way in front of them. I mean, it's the trolling motor to where the bait is and that fish is coming from is 100, 120 feet away. So uh, this is about as stealth as you can get, quite honestly. Um, you know, you could put it back as far as you wanted. Um, I would think a hundred would be the farthest I'd go back with that, with that regular bill, but you could let the fish decide. Um, so, all right, <laughs> that was a lot, but that, I mean, that's the, so that's the essence of a trolling spread. That's how you visualize in three dimensions where your lures are at. I spent a lifetime, um, and still do on the Great Lakes trolling for salmon. I spent a, a lot of my career doing that um, professionally and knowing how you put those baits into the water in the three-dimensional cutout of the hole that is the water column um, and where you think those fish are going to be and then how you position that lure because you got to fish your lures above where you fish, think, think the fish are fish don't look down and they're not going to go oh hey what's that down there if you fish too deep <clears throat> you don't get bit especially with suspended fish if if fish are belly on the bottom then anything to the bottom is fine um so let's get the rest of these out i got good marks here and they're all off the bottom so 
you know, I even my deep divers here, this this smaller flicker minnow, I think at the most it's getting down 10 feet, at the most. But in 16 foot of water, so if that fish, fish is two feet off the bottom, he's only got to look up four feet and he could probably look all the way to the surface at the very least for silhouettes. Um, so I don't think there's anything that goes by that they don't see down there. Whether they want it or not is different. That's a different animal. But I don't think there's anything in 16 foot of water, a top water, they could, the small moth could be laying on the bottom or a walleye, but could be laying on the bottom, come up and smash that top water in, in 16, 20, 30, 50 uh, feet of water. Where were they? Were they right underneath it? Probably not. They were somewhere down below going, ooh, what the hell is that? Let's go see what that thing is. Boom, and off they go. All right, let's get rods in the water. Enough talking. is up everybody that is a wrap <coughs> excuse me for me today what a difference a day makes i uh, i've been out there for uh, the better part of two hours and i made one long pass uh, 
uh, started in the west end trolling east with the wind kind of quartering against off the wind when it was uh, west southwest I left the house this morning about 8 temp air temp was it said uh, 30 31 I think uh, wind was light at the time it was actually very nice it would have been nice first light I I just I didn't uh, I didn't put my load of laundry in the dryer last night so I woke up this morning and my skivvies and my pants I you know I have a set outfit that I wear underneath all this every day and it was all dirty I'd washed it and forgot to put it in the dryer so I had coffee and watched Sports Center at home and looked up a few things about the SU game yesterday <laughs> we are uh, uh, SU man what a game That's a game for the ages honestly what a game but anyway, I came out this morning and I didn't get a bite. Yesterday, Captain Todd Shelter and I couldn't keep him off. Now, those of you that know Todd, he's gonna say, well, it's because he was with me and, and it's really, you know, him and not, you know. So we're gonna hear all that. You're, I'm preparing you now, but nonetheless, you know, maybe that was the prefrontal bite and now the front's here and We'll see. I didn't cast it all today. I trolled, and I trolled purposely shallower than I have been. Um, it didn't work. <laughs> it's 50-50 when you do something different. I put the same lures into different water, and they either weren't there or didn't like it. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a 50-50 proposition. So at least it's even odds. It either is or isn't. Uh-oh. They're after me. I gotta go. Keep her tip up.